I suppose the original idea was this idea of the unknown and we wanted a kind of visual language to show that and we wanted quite a simple visual language that would run through all the executions in film and in print and the idea of that was this kind of source of light and this kind of overall tone. We looked at painters such as Caspar uh, David Friedrich and there were a lot of these awe-inspiring landscapes and scenes um, with a kind of unknown element to them like this idea of this kind of mystery and this kind of light. They were using old school techniques like cloud tanks which is what they used to kind of normally create clouds in you know films from the 70s and 80s those kind of organic effects, there's no real point in, for me, simulating those in a computer which would be very expensive and very time consuming when you can actually capture real stuff in miniature that looks, you know, very real and is quite hard to figure out the scale of those things that you're capturing. Most people love science fiction, but for different reasons. Some love the spaceships, some love the funny robots, or some love the uh, dark uh, science fiction movies and, um, and sort of metropolis and so on. So what we hope is actually that can appeal to everyone, or at least as many people as we can, but without showing something that is too specific, without showing a Star Wars spaceship or a Star Trek, but really creating, I think creating something that's quite magical because it's been custom made. So everything that we're creating has been designed, has been 3D printed, then photographed. And we hope the, the images as well show that there is, it's quite an ambitious campaign for an exhibition. And that's something that I'm excited about as well that maybe we now entering a, a time when for exhibitions we can start creating something that's really, really new, really fresh, really special. So we hope people will really respond to that. I think the design strikes the right balance between something very immersive that helps with understanding this, the narrative uh, behind the exhibition, this journey that we're trying to create, and avoids kitschiness, which is very important because science fiction is already very heavy on, on imagery and it's very rich. Uh, it's very over the top uh, often. So this, this tiny figure, for instance, in the forefront of one of the images is very much the visitor, you know, looking into like a, a known territory. Well, we hope the audience will put themselves in the position of the human element in each image. And in doing that, that they'll start to ask bigger questions of when they are, where they are, what are they experience, and we're not looking to answer any questions, we just want them to have questions and that they can come to the exhibition and kind of find out for themselves. A lot of people have a preconceived idea about what science fiction looks like because a lot of the iconography came from the kind of illustrations from the, the 50s and 60s um, and I think for some people that can be quite off-putting or they think that it's not for them because of that but hopefully the idea with the campaign and with the exhibition more broadly is to show that it is much much broader than that and that the narrative is really the genesis of the genre rather than the imagery.